Do you remember a time when someone really encouraged you? What did they say? How did it change your perspective about yourself or what you're capable of? Encouragement is such a powerful thing and the enemy knows that. He knows how people live differently when they know who they are in Christ and are consistently in community with other Christ followers. So he wants to keep us from hearing encouragement and discourage us and distract us from giving encouragement. He wants to keep us far from community and hopes that we believe the lie that we don't need community because he knows the power of us coming together and knowing who we really are. My name is Hosanna Wong. I'm an author and preacher. And today I want to share with you Hebrews 10 verses 24 and 25. Let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. These days are important. Our days are numbered. This passage reminds us now is not the time to pull away from community. Now is not the time to overthink encouraging people. No, now is the time to create the kind of community that we've longed for. Now is the time to encourage people in ways we've needed to be encouraged. Now is the time to reveal the real hope found in Jesus Christ. So let's think on the specific ways you and I can inspire others to be more of who they are, the creative ways that we can encourage others and the tools we actually have to do so. And our skills are different and our seasons are different. So don't worry about doing it the way you're seeing other people do it. Consider what God has given you right now. Don't give the enemy any victory. Don't pull back. Don't give up. Now is the time to be the church God calls us to be.